Hey guys, it's Ross Gotten on the Space Coach site. We're going to be taking a look at the cross section of the first order snow speeder. So let's just re familiarize ourselves with the vehicle. We checked it out as a toy, uh, and now we're going to check it out as a vehicle. Thoroughly enjoyed this piece. I was over the moon to find it, of course. So there you go, and there it is from the back. So this is the snow speeder spread from the Star Wars Force Awakens. Um, incredible cross sections. This doesn't really make it into the one of the complete vehicles, unfortunately, but there you see it there. So let's just talk about some of the information. So we have the rear cooling fins. Below that, we have primary rear repulsors, uh, thrust exhaust nozzle, of course and electromagnetic thrust plates deflect exhaust stream for steering. Uh, what else do we have? The open cockpit, open cockpit for increased uh, visibility. We see the pilot controls here, of course. This is the power cell in a protective casing. Um, head guards. What else do we have? Behind that, here, is the mini deflector shield generator, which shields the seat occupant from flying debris. The thermal unit, which is uh, just behind the seat there. Uh, the engine diagnostics panel, which is, let me show it to you properly, is that. Uh, then obviously inside we have things like the fuel injectors. What else do we have in there? Multi-stage compression chamber, as you would for an engine. Electrostatic baffle, debris shield, uh, the main drive turbines here at the front, of course. Now, what else do we have? Terrain sensors, which I think are these, that there. Um, primary repulsor lifts are in the body here. Composite armor plating we see of course there. Secondary and retro and re retro repulsor lifts are at the front here also, and we see more radiator fins there. Now, here, this is the cargo compartment when it doesn't have a gun attached, and you'd have your provisions and ammunition and all that stuff there. And there is the control column, of course, and there are the two passengers. So you could have um, three people on this, a driver, a passenger, and a gunner. What else do we have? Um, this is the FWMB10 repeating blaster with a handle attachment for vehicle mounting. There's extra survival gear in here also. It's the side bit there. Uh, let's see. Velocity sensors are the, is this. You see that tiny little bit there? that sticks up ever so slightly. What else do we have in here? That is about it. This is the laser emitter in here. Collimating coil increases bolt range, energized gas in the expansion chamber fires the laser and that can melt through durasteel plating. What else does it say? Uh, temperature extremes are tough conditions for repulsor lift craft. The radiator fins dissipate the heat, but can fail to keep up in hot climates and shed too much heat in cold ones, resulting in the generators burning out or locking up. The, this speeder has been adapted for use at Star Keller Base, kind of like the land speeders were adapted for Hoth for the Rebel Alliance to become snow speeders. What else do we see? And uh, yes, First Order uses these versatile light utility vehicles for a range of missions on the Starkiller base, from patrolling the perimeter to resupplying outlying stations with equipment. It's a simple and rugged model, basically a pair of seats, a platform for cargo, repulsor lifts and two turbines. Similar speeder trucks are a common sight on many worlds, but the military model favoured by the First Order has a higher capacity generator than civilian craft, upgraded power converters and a mount and cable trunking to support that repeating blaster. So it says here on mission profiles, speeders gonna typically rides in the prow, scanning the horizon for targets. The blasters mounting attachment gives a wild, a wide field of lateral fire. It can go all the way like this, of course, and it can be elevated or depressed to defend against both aerial and ground-based attacks. 
It's easily removed and stowed for routine missions, with the speeder's prow instead used to transport equipment, as we saw in that picture. Even while seated, the occupants are exposed to the elements and depend on heating coils built into the seats and thermal units behind them. I shot in the old days, there would have been none of that namby-pamby nonsense authorised by the Empire. You would freeze and like it. But yes, I thought we'd just have another look at the uh, snow speeder in depth as an actual vehicle. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this content. Leave me a comment or suggestion for a coming topic you'd like to see discussed or like the video.